I also love our friends over in Studio B. So it's fine? Ah, there's three of them. All it's three the three amigos. <laughs> Surprise, I'm back. Surprise! So guys, here's the thing. I just got back in town, literally walked into the station, and yeah. they told me I wasn't allowed to prepare for the show or look at anything. So here you here, are. Here we are. He All right. Yeah. He has Ready to rock and roll. No yeah. Idea yeah. Happy belated birthday. Yes. Thank you, Zach. Happy birthday. Thank you, guys. All right, have a great show, guys. Yay. We'll see ya. <laughs> Thank Enjoy. You Thank you. Thank you. Happy birthday. All right, it is a big day around here. We are celebrating Derek for his birthday. <laughs> Yay! Cheers to you, Derek. You know what? We have some really fun surprises in okay. store. It's going to be awesome. Um, of course, we have margaritas. Oh my goodness! Yeah. Okay. It's a party in and here. And they tell me we are shaking Cheers. up uh, one of my favorites ahead of the Margarita Festival. Find out where you can experience Rita's music, salsa, dancing, and more. We've got your ticket to all the fun happening out there this weekend. And tip off for the NCAA Men's Championship between UConn and San Diego State kicks off tonight at NRG. We have got your first look at one of the big watch parties happening in town from local brews on tap to a piece of Houston sports history. We're going to take you inside 8th Wonder Brewery coming up and it was a good time. And they like to say they are all fair rockers. <laughs> the local ladies who play in the Granny Basketball League show us how it's done. I spent an evening at training with them in Conroe. You are going to want to see this. Live from Studio B and KPRC2, Houston Live starts now. All right, happy Monday, everybody. <laughs> it is April 3rd, 2023. I'm Derek Shore, along with Mel Camp, Lauren Kelly. Cheers. Cheers. Yes. This is Cheers. delicious. Is there it's alcohol really in good. this? <laughs> what is this? Well, first of all, we have to say happy belated birthday, mm. Derek, because today is not your real birthday. Right. No. But you were out on vacation for a couple of days. You're an April Fool's baby. April Fool's yes. baby. <laughs> yeah. I love that. And that is not a joke. I really was born on <laughs> April 1st. So my mom's birthday is March 28th. And thank you for the confetti. <laughs> time to sleep that up. So my mom had a big birthday. She had a decade birthday, so quite a milestone. Awesome. That was last week. So I went into I went to Salt Lake to see her and I'll tell you about it. Okay. We yeah, well time. hold that thought. Let's check in with Justin Stapleton first for a okay. look at what is coming up weather-wise on Derek's belated birthday. There you go. Let's see. Oh, hey, can't What's see up, you. Guys. Hey, 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 sorry, I, I can't see or hear anything you're saying, so I assume it is about uh, booze, Derek, and why he is not in jail after yeah. his weekend. Hey, there oh, we are. Wow. What? Oh. Wow. Justin knows me so well. I was, I was, oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> don't I, Bubba? Don't I? Anyway, we will discuss what I you see. You signed that agreement, right. Justin. <laughs> Seal those lips. That NDA does not count, sir. It doesn't. Anyway, hey, yeah, it's going to be a warm day today, for, certainly if you're out and about. Check it out. Let's go out Outside the studio right here, we've got uh, we'll call it partly cloudy sky, some sunshine breaking out. Look at these temperatures, though. We're already back up to 84, 86, 80 in Galveston, 80, uh, 86 over to Sugarland and El Campo. Touch cooler as you get on up towards uh, Huntsville, but still, I expect a lot of spots are going to be close to 90 today. So if you're in town watching us, welcome. Uh, or if you're uh, going to head on uh, down to NRG this evening for UConn and San Diego State, Mighty Aztecs going to try to pull the upset of the year. Should be a warm one headed out to NRG, but we also have, we've got to talk about some uh, wet weather that's coming in as we get in towards Wednesday. Guys, that could be a front that stalls out not only Wednesday, but it looks like it could stretch through the end of the week and some into Easter weekend. I'll let you know if that extends to Easter Sunday. I know a lot of folks probably have family in town. I've got some pretty good news on that. We'll show you what the latest data shows on that. And of course, we're going to see you in about 30 minutes on the couch with the birthday boy. Oh, oh, yeah. Right. We'll save him some couch time with you. Careful what you say, <laughs> Justin. I was going to say we're running out of couch. There's too many people up on the, uh, on the Hey, the more there. the merrier. Yeah. We'll figure it out. There's always room for you, Stapes. Oh, thank you thank so you, Justin. much. All right. All right, Derek. So let's keep on going. You were spending yeah. the birthday with your mom because your birthdays are super close. Yeah. And she was the main focus because it was a big one. Well, and so she didn't want to have a big party. And I think a lot of parents are... 
I don't know, maybe they don't want people to go all out for them. And I'm like, Mom, mm. people want to celebrate you. Yeah. Anyway, it was great. So my sisters uh, both were there with their children and their spouses. Brandon, of course, was there. This was uh, early on, the day after, a couple days after my mom's birthday. We did high wow. tea. Oh, we, my gosh. Wow. That's yeah. my favorite. I love high tea so much. It was much. so fun. We, we felt so proper sitting up, you know, with yeah. straight backs and well, putting okay, our pinkies so up. Fancy. Second, for people who have not done high tea, what all does that entail? So high tea, you get your own little pot of tea so you can choose from a menu and then you typically have little sandwiches like cream cheese and cucumber sandwiches with the crust cut with off the crust cut like off. little fingers I sort of sandwiches yeah, yeah. <laughs> it feels very fancy I swear I you know I, I was born on the wrong side of the pond because I could have high tea every so day so royal of you well and the girls were so much fun so my mom volunteers at a local theater where I used to perform so we went to see Titanic which was so cool oh. and then Bella is performing in Matilda oh my gosh oh, cool. and she did a phenomenal job and many of our Houston Life viewers have seen my nieces grow up they've been on the show so many times I, I feel like it was just yesterday this was right after the show uh, Matilda it, Bella did such a phenomenal Aww, job and all the girls cool. are doing stuff they're, they're so talented those girls they're great they sing they dance they're in they're in shows look how tall Bella is <gasps> Stop it! Yeah, I she's even like... grown since I've been on the show. Can well, you my believe? goodness, she's you now are... taller than Liz, her mom. You have to understand, like standing next, Derek, you're not short, so yeah. she is going to be super tall. And I was wearing boots too with heels, wow. so That's awesome. you know I like a heel. So it was, it really was <laughs> nice. But guys, I almost didn't make it back. Oh yes, actually, so what it was Truly. a bit of mayhem here this morning because we didn't think you were actually going to make your own birthday party. <laughs> well, Brandon and I were ready to, we were leaving for the airport. Look at my sweet mom too. Oh, I love your sweet happy mom. Birthday. I know, can you believe? Bobby Sharon, happy belated birthday to her too. She is the best and it was fun having my sister Heather in town. Uh, she lives in Arizona and Elizabeth is there in Salt Lake. So it's rare that we can all get together and all the cousins get together, yeah. but we're trying to, as we get older, I feel like it's, it's more important that we make a yeah. point Definitely. of getting together. Yeah. You just spent time with yeah, your family I in Australia did. for your sister's wedding. You're so lucky that you don't have to get on a plane to see most of your family members. So yeah. it's just a reminder. Well, wait a things. second, you almost got stuck there? Oh, so yeah. we were leaving for the airport yesterday. Brandon and I were leaving my mom's house and we got a text from the airline saying, your flight's canceled. I mean, does that not happen to you every single time, Derek? I you swear. You have bad luck when you fly. You actually do have really bad flying uh, luck. Excuse me, are you jinxing me? <laughs> no. no! Typically, we have pretty good luck, but we fly yeah. a lot, and so, okay. yeah, the flight okay. was canceled. It's a numbers game. So this morning, uh, we ended up in um, San Antonio. Oh, okay, a little yeah, extra Yeah, so I, stuff. I just flew in from San Antonio. Okay. It was great, though. The plane just kind of goes up and down. <laughs> yeah, it's a quick flight. <laughs> anyway, it's great to be back here with y'all. Yes. We're so glad that you were here. No, well, but seriously, is there alcohol in this? Yes, what is there, there is definitely alcohol. alcohol. We will tell you exactly yeah. what's in it. But oh first of all, we have our first surprise for you, Derek. I need our producers, B and Sabiha, to come in and bring us a first surprise. I'm going to okay. take us this one. Okay. Oh. Here we go. What would a birthday Yay. be without a cake? Oh. And <laughs> this is, <laughs> wait till you see this cake. It's a vegan cake Are from the Dessert me? Gallery. Uh, this is a version of their popular Thank Mum's you. Chocolate oh Cake or Mom's Chocolate Cake. Hold on, I've got to tilt it's, this yeah, up please. so our viewers can see you have this. To say, this. Are you this, kidding me? Look at this, look at this. Because we couldn't, get, oh my gosh. we couldn't get Jennifer Coolidge to jump out of a cake and sing you happy birthday. So she we did the refused next to be here today, <laughs> yeah. so you put us on the cake together. I love that. But of course, everyone knows Dessert Gallery. They're oh, a yeah. Houston staple, award-winning, and so this is, yeah, vegan. This is a vegan cake. Hey, and you know what's great about Dessert Gallery too? I've been a fan and a customer for years. They give back so much to the community. They do so much good work supporting great causes. Yes. And Financially and volunteering, so thank you. Dessert it's amazing. And they also that's have a second nice. location in the Woodlands now, too. Did that just oh. be your birthday? <laughs> wow, that smells good. Smells, that smells very it good. It okay. smells really good. Thank Not you. only do we have the cake, but we know that you love plants so much, you even named them, so we decided to get you a very special <laughs> gift from your friends over at Flora Culture. Are you kidding me? Okay, I might need your help with this, though. It's a beautiful. Dracena? Dracena? Oh, okay. okay, we didn't know. Dracena <laughs> Goldiana potted in a terrarium. Uh, Gemini and Matthew picked it up for you. Oh my gosh, and Gemini, I was just texting her yesterday. Floriculture has the best plants. Guys, do you want to know a true story? This yeah. is going to look really great next to the plant I brought home <laughs> on the plane. 
her at my mom's house. She's like, I have this begonia and it broke and it, I've been rooting it in water. So would you, so we packed it up on the lake. My mom packed it in a Marie Callender's box. Oh, and I was like, yes. I'm gonna get stopped at security with this wad of wet paper towels and plastic and, and, and my and begonia. <laughs> and luckily, I made it through security, did, no I, problem. Did Brandon take a photo of that? Cause you need to post that. I, I have a photo. I Brandon, photo. if you're watching, could you please text um, me a photo of that? Now, this is beautiful. Isn't it beautiful? Yes. And Floriculture, they're opening a brand new location in Midtown. I love that. It opens right ahead of Earth Day, which is April 22nd. Oh, oh my so. gosh. Hey, That's I know amazing. a lot about the show for knowing yeah, nothing, Yeah, right? you do, don't you? Yeah. It's so awesome. Thank I love that you, it looks like a space you. plant. Um, we do <laughs> have another surprise for you. We have a shout out from, oh, um, you'll love from this. From Jen Coolidge, who is this? <laughs> my mom? <laughs> 25 never looked so good. <laughs> Happy birthday, Derek. Cheers to another wonderful trip around the sun. Love you. Oh my oh, goodness. We love Christine Noel. Does that make Noel. you want to cry? Christine Noel. Yeah, it does. But she's living her life in Denver with her yeah. husband, Jesse, and their new puppy, Charlie. And we still, we ski with them and we see them quite a bit. Christine Noel, she really is the best. I know, I know a lot we of our her. viewers yeah. love her as well. Yeah, we love her so much. Okay, so now it's time to reveal our next surprise. Oh my gosh. It wouldn't be a party without balloons. <laughs> <laughs> well, you guys have seen him on Houston Live before. Now he is back to join our party in studio. Please welcome Balloon. Whoa! Someone you get a birthday crown. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 here's oh a lightsaber. Oh, what, what, what? I've got a lightsaber? Oh, yes. Oh, okay, sorry, so Josh, Josh is going to work on some more wow. special balloons for you. So, <laughs> you. Josh, awesome. that's awesome. How does it make that sound? Oh, my. Like, I don't, I don't know. This is amazing. Take it away. It's amazing. Oh, here. Happy birthday. We're going to kill you now. Okay, coming up, we're going to find out how this makes this sound. And also, in honor of the NCAA finals, I wanted to learn about basketball. So, I got Lauren. Oh, no, wait. <laughs> Lauren. I have not got even better than No, me. I got even better. I went and spent an evening in Conroe training with a league where, ex where experience is the MVP. And so here's a little sneak peek. There's also a message for you in this one, Derek, so Aww. check it out. Hi, I'm Janet. I want to say welcome to Texas Two-Step Basketball, Granny Basketball, to let you know that you are never too old to play basketball. We are a national league for women 50 years and older, and we would love to have you come out and play ball with us. So watch for us on Houston Live, and we want to say a special hello to Derek. We watch you all the time, Derek, and we would love to have you come out to one of our games. Janet, that is so lovely. I would love to join you sometime. I cannot wait uh, to see what these ladies get up to on the court. Also, it is Margarita Monday. Yes, Cheers. We are learning Ooh. how to make them with Lay, one of the bartenders who will be shaking up some fun yeah. Yeah. at this weekend's Houston <laughs> Margarita Festival. Did you know there's such a thing? I it's sure true. did. <laughs> Keep on shaking, Lay. Houston Life will be right back. <laughs> Hey D Shore, it's your birthday. Happy birthday to you. There is one thing I want to share with your audience. One of my favorite things about you that I think is so stinking sweet and special. And that is, anytime we see each other, the first thing he says to me is, not how are you, but how's your mother? Derek is always inquiring about my mom and her well-being, and I think it is one of the sweetest and most endearing things about you. You have the biggest heart. You are always thinking about others. You are so kind and compassionate, and it's probably one of my favorite things about you, aside from your killer hair and great smile. <laughs> There's so much to love. Happy birthday, dear friend. I hope it is an awesome day. Mwah! Dominique Saxa, you are a class act. What a lovely greeting. And how's your mom, Audrey, doing? By the way, fun fact about Dominique's mom, Audrey, she drinks a mean martini and she will run circles around you on the dance floor. So Audrey, I love you so much. And Dominique, D, I love you back too. Thank you so much for that greeting. Okay, shifting now to the most popular cocktail in town has its own festival. Did you know it's called the Houston Margarita Festival and it gives you a chance to sip a variety of margarita flavors at an outdoor 
your space with the city's iconic skyline behind you. Doesn't it sound perfect? Here with the details is the event's MC, Melissa Gomez, alongside Rebecca Lay Jenkins, a local bartender <laughs> who will be showing us how to make these tequila-based drinks at home. Ladies, welcome to the show. Hi, Happy it's birthday. a fun show today. Happy birthday. Thank you. Well, you've come to the right place. I had nothing to do with it. <laughs> uh, but let's chat about this festival because yes. this is something for a lot of Houstonians, even natives we hear, have never heard of this festival. I honestly can't believe it. We've literally been around for 11 years this year. Oh my and goodness. And it is just so much fun. I mean, the drinks. Cheers. <laughs> cheers. Cheers to that and cheers to your fabulous hair for sure. Oh I agree with gosh. that. <laughs> Thank you so much. Brandon cuts it. Uh, what are we drinking here? Shots, 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 Ooh, shots. Cosme. Cosme. Don Cosme is the official. Woo! That one bit me. <laughs> now we're you ready guys for are, the show. Now I'm ready for the show. <laughs> but this festival is something anybody can attend, right? How does it work? Yes, yeah, so it a is ticket? for sure. There's general admission, $15. You can go to margaritafest.com, HoustonMargaritaFest.com to get your ticket. 21 and up for sure. And you guys are in for a treat if you get to come. I mean, one of the main things for me is the live music, the live band. We have mariachis. We have... Excuse me, we have all that, that really got me. We really have every music, because Houston is a diverse city, right? So we cater to everyone. I know there's Latin music, but you can also get top 40. You can get Zydeco. I mean, it's just a super fun time. It looks like a blast, and there's food too. Oh, definitely food. There's local vendor, vendors. We love to support the Houston community for sure. And one of the main things that we love and are very proud of is the nonprofit aspect. You mentioned that earlier today. And we've actually, since the inception in 2012, we've helped over 30 um, organizations and every year goes, you know, benefits one of those in the, in the area. That is fantastic, mm -hmm. even better. So Lay, let's chat about uh, <laughs> what you're mixing up today. Yeah, so today we are doing our top shelf Cadillac Margarita. Okay. And then we're gonna go to my award-winning spicy mango margarita. Okay, let's so go for it. You're gonna help me make it. Yes. And I have it pretty seamless for you right there. Okay. So we're gonna use the Don Cosme Reposado. Okay. One of my favorite tequilas to use um, when making drinks. It's not too bitter, not too sweet. Perfect. Okay. So right there, we have the Don Cosme right there. We'll do about a quart, an, an ounce and a half in there. So we'll dump the whole thing in? We're going to dump it. All right. Equal parts of lime juice and my homemade simple syrup. Oh, very Homemade, nice. nice and fresh. Pour that in too. Okay, what's this? Simple oh, this syrup. is the simple yes, syrup. Yes, that's it. All right, I thought they were mixed. <laughs> and then you're going to shake it. So make sure you put it at a 45 degree angle so okay. it doesn't get stuck. Nice. <laughs> He's a pro. <laughs> My mama taught me well. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. My mom has never had a drop of alcohol in her life. Okay. All right. How's now that? you're gonna take. It's perfect. Now you're gonna take it off. I'm gonna need your help getting. Yeah. It off, like. Don't worry. She's a she professional. She works out. They tell me you're very good at this. Okay. There perfect. You go. Now we're gonna strain it. Yeah. So you're gonna go ahead. You could go ahead. Hold it above that glass right there. Okay. You already have some. Uh, looks like Sonic ice in there, right? Yes. A that's kind. good <laughs> ice. And now we're gonna top it off with Grand Marnier oh. orange liqueur. Oh. Yeah. You call this a floater? Yes, Pretty much. we're going to float it. Okay, there's the Grand Marnier. She's a beauty. Go, I get out. to do the honors? You get the honors. All right, and you're going to be mixing up cocktails in addition to the like the pre-made machine margaritas? Yes, so we have over 19 flavors available. I mean, they range from your classic lime to mango, peach, which is a huge, you know, they love that one. And believe it or not, they even have pumpkin spice. <laughs> A pumpkin spice margarita. I promise. Yeah. They have chocolate, raspberry, just the, the list goes on. Hey, so I'll try it. Mm -hmm. This floater is delicious. Perfect. What's next on the menu? Now we're going to do our spicy mango margarita. I just put more Don Cosme. Okay. We're going to do equal parts of lime juice, my homemade spicy jalapeno simple syrup. Oh. Some mango puree, mm -hmm. yes. Oh, wow. And another equal parts of triple sec. How much heat are we talking? Good you enough. know, yeah. okay. Okay. a Houstonian amount. Yeah. <laughs> I'll find out. Huh? <laughs> Nice job. Nice shake on this one. Yes, sir. Let's see if I can get this. <laughs> get this out. <laughs> Play, help me. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. So for sure, she'll be mixing the uh, margaritas on the rocks. You'll just go straight to the machine and get your frozen ones. Don't have to worry about it. I can do a few things like kind of okay. Mixing yeah. cocktails is not one of them. Now try it out. You have a little tahini on the rim. As now, well. like she said, this is oh. award winning. They won yes. it last year at the Woodlands version of the Margarita yes, Festival. And it's going to be here at the Houston one as well. How is it? Isn't you know it what? fabulous? So it's sweet initially, mm -hmm. and then you start to get a little exactly. of the heat. It's like the perfect combination of sweet, a little sour, a little heat. 
Wow. For sure. It's, Thank you. It's a party for the taste buds, for sure. Can we just sit in silence for the next few minutes while I finish uh, <laughs> drinking this? All right, let's talk about the event details. Uh, tell us when and where people can buy so their tickets. So it is this Saturday, April 8th, uh, from noon until 10 p.m. And believe it or not, you will be fully entertained if you come the whole time. Uh, $15, margar HoustonMargaritaFest.com for you to get your tickets. I mean, it's going to be a good time. And admission starts at 15 bucks, so it is mm -hmm. a steal. Ladies, thank you so much. Melissa, yeah. Lay, cheers to you. Cheers. And thank you so much for stopping by cheers. Studio B. Happiest of birthdays. Happiest of birthdays. <laughs> We're going to get you another shot. Yeah, got... uh, all right, ladies. Thank you thank so much. Thank you so much for having thank us. You. Cheers. We'll see you at the festival. Reminder for to sure. our viewers for a link to get your tickets for a Houston Margarita Festival. Visit our website, HoustonLife.tv. Just look for that scene on Houston Life section. All right. What do you say? Thank you. Yes, thank you. That, this was great. This is going to make my day. It already has. Let's pass it over to Mel, <laughs> who's ready to take a shot at a new hobby. Hey, Mel. Yeah, caught it. Okay, are you ready for a slam dunk coming up? I've got details in a second. We've also got a few more surprises coming your way, Derek. Yep, it's a party in Studio B for Derek Shaw today. And you know, it is never too late to get in the game. The ladies of our local granny basketball team, the Texas Two Steps, show us how it's done when Houston Life returns. The ladies of the Texas Two Steps put a whole new spin on what it means to be the OGs of basketball. We got our official granny basketball, so seal of approval. <laughs> this group of local women meet Wednesday evenings at Pete Junior High School in Conroe to train for games in the granny basketball league. Off their rockers and onto the court. Basketball is a team sport. It's an organized league. There's pushing 550 players, and so there's tournaments, there's league games. It's a lot of fun. I mean, there aren't many team sports for ladies that are experienced like us. So, And I'm 65, so I don't want to quit playing basketball. The league follows the 1920s rules. No jumping, no running, and just two dribbles. A lot of ladies will think they can't play basketball because they look at how rough it is on TV or whatever. And this is really tamed down so that ladies can enjoy it. And it's about safety. We don't want anybody falling. We don't want anybody getting hurt. So that's why there's the no contact. In fact, whenever anyone does go down, there's a saying for that. It's called granny down, granny down. And whoever fell has to go sit out for a play. Because again, it's about safety and we want to make sure nobody's hurt. It's wonderful fun. It's built on safety. It's a lot of fun, a lot of camaraderie. And we just have the, the best time and I, I can highly recommend it. There's definitely a fitness aspect to it. And my mobility is better, balance is better, just all around fitness is better. Players of all levels are welcome. From people who have never played on a team before. Where I was in California, they didn't have girls teams in those days. To international stars. We have the lady that played on the Dominican national team. I play in the 70s in the national uh, team in my country, the Dominican Republic. So I played for the 10 years over there. When you were in your 20s playing basketball, did you think one day you might be playing granny basketball? Never ever, because I even didn't know they have that league. Gentlemen are welcome as fans and team helpers. Uh, I'm in the background. I help wherever needed. During the games, I'll referee or I'll keep the scorebook, uh, help organize practices, put the lineup together, try to get on websites and advertise. So I'm kind of... My little, marketing director. Yeah, a little <laughs> of everything to help out. Otherwise, the game is for the girls. Tell me about your uniforms, because your uniforms are pretty special. Oh, this is 1923. Women had to be completely covered. In fact, we have a special cap foul called a flesh foul. If anything shows, like if your, if your blimmers come up or your socks come down and you show a little bit of leg, that's a foul. My daughter said I should think of the uniform as representing the suffragettes of the 1920s who fought for the right to vote and were the start of everything. So that's what I, that's what I think about. We're always looking for more players. Skill level doesn't matter. The ladies just have a blast. I mean, 
even ladies that maybe didn't play it a lot. So if you're even thinking about it, bring your friends, come watch a practice. We stop people in the grocery store or in restaurants. We'll ask them, do you play basketball or do you want to play basketball? And a number of them will say, oh no, I'm, I'm too old. Oh, I couldn't do that. You know, and they're, they're younger than I am and in probably in better shape. And I always try to encourage, it doesn't matter. You know, you, you can do it. One thing is for sure, the women of the Texas Two Steps are proof that it is never too late to get back in the game. You know what, if you want to play, the Texas Two Steps are recruiting, and even if you've never, ever played before, we will get the details up online so you can check it out and see how you can join the Granny Basketball League. Just head to houstonlife.tv, go to the Scene On section. That was such a fun night. Did they say flesh foul? Yes, they did, and you would get one right so now because your knees are showing, showing Lauren. I'm showing my knees. <laughs> so a you flesh couldn't foul. show anything? Nope, every, that's why the socks go really high, and then the little pants pantaloons go low and they, you, they play in long sleeves. The pantaloons. I love every single <laughs> one of them. So inspiring and also yes. we've joked and laughed about how Brandon and I are playing on a kickball team. Yeah. And we're, you know, we're maybe not retirement age quite yet, but I really do think that if you are sitting at home and you're wondering, yeah. you know, maybe there's a new social outlet yeah. for me. Yeah. My mom was saying as she's gotten older, she's like, so many of my friends are gone now. They've either passed away or right. they've moved away. Yeah. And I think it's great to connect Connect with other people through sports. I Absolutely. love it's the Granny so Basketball. True. You can meet a whole lot of new friends, and that's what a lot of the women said to me. They were like, "I've found a whole new friendship group." Yeah. And don't be put off. Like it's not at all a contact sport because they play with the 1920s rules. Oh. So good it's gentle, too. which is good. I don't like tough sports, so I was like, "This is my kind of game." <laughs> it was fantastic. I love it. And Janet, I'm going to take you up on your offer. I'm going to come visit you. Yes. yes. All right, you guys. Still to come, we've got some more fan, uh, fun planned for Derek's birthday today, uh -oh. including mm -hmm. a big surprise. <laughs> Don't want to miss. I truly have no idea. Also, we are just a few hours away from tip-off for the NCAA Final Four Men's Championship game. If you do not have a ticket to the game, Lauren found a spot where you can catch all the action on the court while enjoying some local brews. Mm, I wonder where I'm at right there. Oh. Brewery. They are hosting a big watch party tonight. I've got all the details, including how you can see a piece of Houston sports history right there at 8th Wonder. That's when Houston Life returns. That is perfect. Perfect. Derek, it's April. That means the pool is flowing and the parties are going. And also your birthday. So I thought that this waterfall could be metaphorical for your youth draining away. Wow, that was mean. Happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> That is I knew not, something was coming. If that is not a Frankism right there. My youth draining away. Oh my goodness. Hey, Justin just celebrated a birthday last week. As I well. did. I'm so actually older than Derek, too. Yeah. So That is hard oh, to believe. Wow. And Frank, I love I you so much. I might heel over right in front of you. <laughs> Wait, what day is your birthday? Uh, 21st of March. Oh, wow. And Mel's is coming up next Mine's week. Coming up yeah. Next yeah. Week. We have all kinds of birthdays yeah. this time of year. What, yeah. what is it about this time of year that there are so many babies? What was happening nine, nine months, months ago? ago. What, holidays? Like, holi yeah. What special holiday? I don't, I don't know. know. It was the mid-70s. Everybody got it's a crazy. Hard don't hard to don't even think about it. It's gross. OK. <laughs> you brought it up. I know I did. And oh thank you, goodness. Franklin. That was a lovely birthday message. That was Fun so surprise. Yeah, that was so it's fun. Oh, there's more surprises coming. Really? Yeah, watch out. Uh-oh. I'm not, I'm not telling. Anyway, I'm gonna go over here and try some uh, try some booze. So wait, no, I gotta do the weather first. Oh, Let's and then that. it's then gone. Then I'm gonna get Craig. What does it so. look like for the big game tonight? Great. Oh, look at Little oh, Miss transition here. Oh, Lauren's like yeah. moving along now, uh, getting us back on track. Like she used to do radio or something, huh? That's what Sarah Pepper in her ear, like go, go oh, now. Time. Right. Anyway, all right. So let's talk weather, shall we? It is gonna be warm if you headed on downtown tonight, or if you're gonna be watching the game either or Lauren's going to talk about in a second, or if you are headed down to NRG, there are still tickets available. Temperatures out there now are starting to spike in the mid 80s, and we could be looking at upper 80s, maybe close to 90 degrees when it's all said and done this afternoon. Steady south wind too, so just pull it up in a ponytail, ladies, because it's not going to get much better today or tomorrow. And then notice we really start to cool things down. Why is that? Well, here's why. We've got a big cold front that's going to be moving on through, and this area of high pressure is going to continue to keep all this moisture coming in from the Pacific. Last night, 
Great Storm. If you remember those, they were up around Dallas with the baseball size hail. That actually is going to see another front that will slide through here Wednesday. And the notice is that high sits in place kind of stalls out. Now the problem with that is, is that when we get these stalled fronts in springtime, you have all of that moisture from the Gulf. You have these little disturbances coming in from the West, and this is what it creates. We have scour scattered showers and thunderstorms for the morning and afternoon, but watch what happens on Thursday. Those colors get a lot brighter, and in fact, I expect us to repeat as we get in towards Friday and maybe Saturday's forecast as well. So as we go to the end of the weekend, we're talking we could see upwards of two, three, four, maybe five inches of rain in some spots. I wouldn't be shocked to see these numbers even get higher, but the good news is, we'll go a little glass half full here, is that I do think we'll be looking at that system moving out in time for Easter Sunday. I'm going to keep the rain chances at 20% for now, so fingers crossed if we can dry that out, at least we'll have a decent end to the Easter weekend, uh, and then we'll warm things up and certainly get a little more sunshine. But can't stress enough, guys, starting Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, we're going to be looking at potential for some heavy rain. We'll keep you updated here as well through the rest of the week on Houston Life. Ms. Lauren? Well, you know, I won't be invited to Frank's pool, but maybe I can get myself into somebody else's pool, Justin. Thank you so much. All right, if you don't have a ticket to tonight's big basketball game, no worries. There's plenty of great spots around town that are going to be showing it, including one of our favorites, Eighth Wonder Brewery. We stopped in earlier today to get all the details on their big family-friendly watch party happening later today. Well, you guys, I'm actually standing on a piece of Houston history here at 8th Wonder Brewery. It's going to be one of the best spots to watch the big game. The 2023 Men's Final Four final game tonight. Ryan Soroka, co-founder right here, 8th Wonder. You guys have some fun happening tonight. We sure do. Hi, Lauren. Welcome to 8th Wonder. Um, yes, we've got the game on the screens. We've got multiple TVs inside. We've got our large patio outside. We are pet friendly, family friendly. We got over 20 beverages for you to enjoy. Uh, speaking of beverages, we got, you know, our Cougar Paw, which I know the Cougars are not in it anymore, but uh, definitely pays tribute to U of H. And then our newest release is Home Turf. It's a Amarillo dry hopped blonde ale. It is smooth, easy drinking, and full of flavor. Uh, come try it. So it's like we're still kind of cheering on our home, sure. on our home turf with our Cougars, even though they might not necessarily be playing today. Correct. You guys have some really cool stuff here, though. We're standing on a part of history, really. Absolutely. This is the original 1971 men's college basketball championship court. Got it. That's a lot, I know. <laughs> um, but the first time Houston hosted the college tournament was in 1971. It was played in the Houston Astrodome. This is the original floor, the center piece. We have the entire court, but we do not reinstall that. You don't need a full court here no, yet. No, no, just the center court will do. Um, and pretty much every March, we bring it back out. Um, it's a really cool piece of Houston history, sports history, um, and we're honored to have it. Well, I know it's a, a perfect fit for the eighth wonder of the world to be right here at eighth Wonder Brewery. Indeed, indeed. <laughs> Very meta. What, what time are you guys going to start showing the game? So our doors open at noon. Um, we'll have uh, food trucks on site. We, like I said, got plenty of beverages and uh, I imagine fans start pouring in anywhere from 4 or 5 p.m. and what, game's on at 7 or so? Yeah, that yeah. sounds about right. And right. I, you, you guys have like legit one of the biggest patios in town. So you have room for everybody that's Come in on, town. Come on, folks. We'd love to have y'all. All right, so one last time, you can have your Cougar Paw with the new ale right here, the blonde ale. That's the home turf. How does that one taste? I haven't had that one yet, Ryan. It is light. It is easy. It is full of flavor. It's a sure winner. All right. Oh, I like that. I'm a sure winner. You're a sure winner. And, and the winner is going to be crowned tonight. So definitely come on out to 8th Wonder. It's going to be good times. Thank you so much for sharing. And cheers. Thank you. Cheers, y'all. Or, uh... <laughs> Ooh, why are you stealing my beer? I'm just passing this out here. Oh, thank you so well, much. Getting drinks. Don't forget, game time for the 2023 men's final four games. Uh, UConn, San Diego State. Uh, San Diego State is this go. evening at 820. I knew it was a late game. I yeah. handed you a beer. I know you're really excited to taste it, but you can't have it with us today. But I will save it for you. Wait, we'll, darn these we'll put it in the fridge. After your shift. There we go. Now we're it, I'll keep it in safe. That's right. Things. Don't but, you yeah. love that on Houston Life, even though we're in our shift, we're, we're, it's part of our job? It's a drinking right, job. Someone once shook these up, I swear. <laughs> hey, by the way, Eighth Wonder, not only is the beer top notch, but I love that menu so much. And you can yeah. get, you know, a shot of the Beatles out there. Mm -hmm. Yes, and the best part is, too, if you're not a beer person, they also have the distillery yep. just a half a block down as well. Mm. The gin is... Yeah, I love, love it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's a great God. spot as well. Food trucks are great, so mm. always nice there. Great, mm. great spot. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Careful. Get it. Taking okay. I'm taking it away from yeah. you too. All right. Yeah, <laughs> someone, someone shook those up. Who's you know what? When we come back. <laughs>
if we can actually back, shake those We're going to keep no. celebrating Derek's birthday on the show. It feels like it. <laughs> They're like, this will get him. <laughs> Earlier, we introduced you to Balloon Josh. Josh. Yay. Something very special for us here in studio. I don't know. Can you tell what it is? Oh. Big reveal. This oh, guy is amazing. <laughs> Mr. Derek Shore, happiest of birthdays to you, my friend. I hope you had a weekend filled with celebration and laughter. Cheers. Oh my Andy gosh. Oh, I, oh my don't you look dead? That is so sweet. I, I love that picture just because. <laughs> Of the Gur factor, right? I'm like barely smiling in that photo. I know. You can tell me. <laughs> that's the LA days when he's like, <laughs> that photo was taken here. Was it really? <laughs> the see, that's it it screams is, LA. It's the smize. Can we yeah. see it in real life? What does that even mean? The smize. I was like, there you go. Blue steel that thing, man. Come on now. Would you say I'm a good you Googleizer? <laughs> Let me Nailed call it. someone that cares. <laughs> what is this? A school for ants? <laughs> All right, there is no party without balloons, that is for sure. And that's why our next guest has been working hard on something special, balloon art-wise, for Derek's birthday. Yeah, this guy's amazing. If you've ever seen him out and about in town before, we are going to see what Balloon Josh has made for the host of honor today. Balloon Yay! Josh! Balloon Josh! Yay! And Balloon Derek! <laughs> <laughs> this that's is incredible. so great. Josh, thank you so much. <laughs> And here's the thing. Can you just come home and make balloons for us all the time? This is incredible. When did you realize you had this skill? Um, so I started doing this when I was nine years old. I told my dad I needed more allowance. He said, then get a job. Oh. So, Fair and enough. You did. You yeah, I saw someone doing this at a pizza place, and I was like, I could do that. <laughs> so did you 31 years later, I'm still at it. to blow up the balloon? Because when I was a kid, I was obsessed with these balloons. And I remember getting a kit and trying to blow this up with my mouth. Yeah. yeah and no. I gave up in about 30 seconds. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Um, so mouth inflating is tricky. That's why, especially, I mean, I use this. Yeah. Oh, there you um, go. Oh. Because especially when I'm going through like 100 balloons an hour, um, even though I can mouth inflate, I'd be winded and exhausted. So like the pass out rate would be a little higher. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so fun fact about Balloon Josh, though, with Neverland Balloons, you, you come to our station's holiday parties all the time. Yes, I've done your, uh, um, so we moved here. I actually used to do the NBC Company Christmas party in New York. Oh, fun. When I lived in New York. And then we moved here in uh, 2018. And then we started doing um, this station. Uh, Christmas parties for the past uh, since 2018 until yeah. except for like there was one COVID. year you didn't yeah, have it because of COVID. Right, right, yeah. right. But other than that, yeah, we've been doing it every year. And so we, we always had have a blast. you on the show earlier in the year because we wanted to try fun new things, fun yeah. new activities. And so the coolest part about Josh's balloon skills is how yeah. fast you can make things. And I know you have a couple of favorites you're going to show us today. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I mean, again, I think it's as a balloon artist and just like with a lot of art forms, it's always finding that balance of, you know, speed and quality. Right. right? You want something to be good, but you don't want it to be like so detailed that it takes forever. Right. But yeah. you also want stuff to be fast, but not so fast that it's trash. Because like right. if a kid wants a sword, you got to yeah. be able to go. Yeah. Right. Well, well that, I think you also, one thing that's important as a balloon artist is you need to have like six versions of everything. Of course. Right? So like if I have a festival where I've got a, like a two hour long line, I'm not going to be spending, you know, five minutes or something, you know, three minutes even per, per, per balloon. Yeah, so yeah. I have like a, a quick like, you know, 45 second Spider-Man. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. Wow. if I have more time and there's, you know, less kids and it's like a private birthday party, I can do like a more advanced version. Yeah. So even like with swords, I have, you know, a dozen different types of swords I can make. Everything from like just generic balloon swords yeah. to like specific swords, like so like four swords. Oh yeah, right? like well actually, <laughs> very um, funny you mentioned that because that's what we're making right now. Is oh. I'm showing you I'm making Thor's hammer. You make a hammer because awesome. I mean it's his birthday, so of course he's worthy. <laughs> also, anyone else at home fascinated by the fact that Josh can just sort of like do, do all this? of this I while you're talking? talking? I was just thinking. I, mean, I was like, he's, he's like Jimi <laughs> Hendrix. Now you're looking funny. at the cords, just sitting here. I've had him make Jimi Hendrix out of balloons before. I is believe it, you. Is you it have. muscle memory? I mean, do you wake up in the middle of the night, like, just moving like, your head? Yeah, hands? like my pillows, you know, just like in the knot. <laughs> no, do you? I'm for real. No, so there question. will be times, like, so sometimes I'll have situations where, like, someone wants me to make something that's like a really new or random, like, yeah. obscure character, yeah. and I'll be like, it'll bug me, and I'll be like, go to bed thinking of it, and I'll wake up at like, three in the morning, I got it! I know how to make, you know, yeah. whatever it is, you know? Yeah. Um, Bluey, or, you know, uh, Blippy, you know, yeah. there's always some new character that you have to be um, on top of. <laughs>
Oh, he's got it. Don't and that's the thing that always those is how do you break off the balloons and you know not pop the whole thing? Yeah. And my answer is just magic. magic. Oh, of course. Magic. I tell you know it's, well you know I tell kids you know I studied balloons at Hogwarts. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you are like the fan favorite. When you do parties and stuff, do kids ask for your autograph when you're done? Uh, yes, but it's usually I not because it. of my balloons. It's usually more because of the fact that I have over 2.4 million followers on TikTok. Oh, so, there you go. Wow. Like I have a lot of so like I was doing balloons at a park the other day and um, I, I had kids like stopping and being like, your balloon, Josh. Can, I, can we get a picture? And I'm like, of course, because like for me, like I just, I just love what I do. Right. So I, I don't think of myself in any kind of like a way like that. I'm just like, I'm a balloon artist. Yeah. This is just what I've been doing for 31 years. It's yeah. just more people now know that I do it. Yeah. <laughs> well, before you finish that up, if you guys want to connect with Balloon Josh, we have got a link on our Houston Life section at HoustonLife.tv. Just click on the scene that on section. Silly. I am so silly. No. Now we got to see if he's worthy to lift it. Oh. Oh, so easy! <laughs> Finally, something I can lift. Balloon Josh, thank you so much. Oh, All right, Derek. My pleasure. Balloon Josh, wow. thank you so much, but we have somebody else here who wanted to send a very special shout out for your birthday. Take a listen. Happy birthday, Derek. I've always told you you're one of the kindest, most genuine people I know, so you deserve the best on your birthday. Happy birthday. Love you. Oh, Kathy we Hernandez. We love you, too. So Thank cute. you so much. All right, Very we are nice. having fun celebrating Derek's birthday today, of course. But, hey, where's Mel Camp? Where did she end up going? She's full pink. She's hard to lose. <laughs> I, I, She's I, blowing up balloons somewhere, <laughs> I bet. I'm up here. Guys, I'm up here. Guess what, Derek? We have your next big birthday surprise. Woohoo! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Life, everybody. We are outside right now of our Studio B. We've got another very special birthday surprise slash yeah, challenge. Is I that know. what we're going to call it? I would say, since it's warm out here. Why didn't somebody tell me? Right. Oh, wait. <laughs> Never mind. Wait. Yeah, you did. Yeah, we do. As you can see, we've got the rock wall set up back here. Uh, Derek's getting the harness on. Mel's already harnessed up. Oh my you, goodness. You've already fallen to your death once. Uh -oh. Yeah. <laughs> that was, it was the first time you jump off the rock wall. It's really scary because you have to trust that rope's going to catch you. Any pointers for Derek? Um... Well, <laughs> don't <laughs> the silence says we it all. hope you survive because we don't want to kill you on your birthday. Hey, I so love crazy. climbing though. I love no, climbing. I mean, I was super fun. Yeah, it's super fun. Climbed. It's been many, many years, and in fact, yeah. I probably shouldn't have my phone. Will you hold that? Just don't yeah, buy yeah, anything yeah. on Amazon. Just, but you have to jump. You have to climb a bit and then jump down and just feel that sensation of like jumping. Okay. okay. Yeah. Let's do That's it. All right, here we go. Yeah, to do. yeah, we've got hey, our friends from doing? Staff oh Party Reynolds in Cyprus helping us out okay, here. So, so I'm, let's I'm see in. what we've got. Is there any um, special path I should be taking here? Yeah, up. <laughs> <laughs> All the way. You Thank can you, Justin. To the top. D4. You are very helpful. I know with real okay, rock climbing, you point. should pick a color and stick to it. Because it's your birthday, you can pick whatever color you want. Oh, okay. Right, guys? I, I, I feel like oh, you're I really see. getting in with the blue right now. I, yeah, I'm loving yeah. the blue. Bring also, oh my rock gosh, climbing on so television, high. it can't be super flattering, right? You're doing great. <laughs> I mean, Justin, fine. that wind isn't going to knock that over. I'm just um, kidding. You're well, it might. Does my butt look big in this? Oh, wait. No, we've got to hitch to a trailer. We're good here. Do you know what? This is such a good idea for a birthday party. Let's go, champ. No pain, no gain. You're the way up. All right. Wait a Derek's minute. Derek's going to make it so, to the uh, top. Can you, can you rent this and, like, bring it to my house? Yes. Uh, yes, okay. we can. Oh, you got to hit on. the bell at the top. Hold on. I'm stuck. No, you're not. I'm stuck. <laughs> I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. up there. No, oh. keep going. Let's go, okay. Chuck Norris. Hold on. Hold on. Derek. Derek. I'm about to fall. I'm literally <laughs> about to fall. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to do it too? <laughs> I'm going to just, good time. I'm gonna just say you guys wow. did awesome. A special thanks to our friends at Stat Party Rentals in Cyprus for helping us plan this event. And of course, Party Planet Rentals I'm gonna for try it. this exciting rock wall. This is like, super cool. Yeah, they helped us out with you know foam parties, all kinds of fun stuff. They're great. Uh, if, if, if you could think of it, they probably already have it at that point. That's Absolutely. what we were talking about last time. It's good stuff, right? Yeah. So you can set up a rock climbing wall? Yes, and lots of people were asking for the party. details, which we have at HoustonLife.tv. Just click on the scene on section. Yeah. But yeah, this is totally mobile, and you so can have it at your party. Here's okay. what you need to do. you, you got to work off that birthday cake and the booze we're about to have. <laughs> So we're going to yeah. need you to get back and work <laughs> off the margaritas. That's right. All right, here Come we go. On, I don't think I can get off as high as Here we Derek. go. No, fresh, you got fresh this. Fresh back from the oh mountains of Tanzania. Is that right? I just realized, oh, I'm losing my 
Oh, no! no. Lost your crown! Oh, my we goodness. observe the creature in her natural <laughs> habitat <laughs> as she hunts for the food. Oh, it is a It is lunchtime at Houston Life. It's oh, really no cat is on the hunt for oh, something my goodness. to eat. Guys, I look well, down. Oh, don't look down, Mel. Yeah, don't, don't look, look down. Going. You got this. Don't, oh, you got my, it. I don't think I can go any further. No, Mel, keep going. <laughs> you got it, Mel. <laughs> keep going. <laughs> You're blind. <laughs> keep going. Uh, you're wearing a harness, so I'm if you fall, you're wearing a harness. You got it, Mel. And a lot of pain. <laughs> you got it. You got it. <laughs> Jump. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> well, coming up after the break, a look at what's coming up on tomorrow's show. Here's the light. We'll be right back. And Mel's okay. Oh, man. <laughs> All right, coming up to Houston Life tomorrow, guess what? I'm going to be back at the Chic Boutique oh, sale. Oh, yeah. We nice. oh, love that. being there. Uh, it's going to be super fun with the Salvation Army and the Women's Auxiliary. Like, we love mm, hanging out yeah. there. So, yeah. That cheers to that. And cheers. all of our friends who helped celebrate oh my Derek's gosh. birthday. Okay. Happy birthday, Deisha. Thank you all so much for all the surprises. <laughs> Thank you for the shout outs. I'm going to try to remember everyone. Okay, so the Houston Margarita Festival, right? mm -hmm. Dessert Gallery, Floriculture, mm -hmm. Stat Party Rentals, also Party Planet Rentals for the Rock Climbing Wall. Balloon, Balloon Josh. Josh with Balloon Josh. Balloons. Balloons. Yep. Did a great job. Hi, and of course, of course, Kathy Hernandez, Andy Sirota, Dominique Saxa, Christine Noel. And Franklin J. And Franklin J. Justin Jay. Stapleton. Justin Stapleton. Justin Stapleton. Yeah, Cheers, buddy. I got you. Can we hear that lightsaber from Balloon do it, Josh? Do it. Oh! <laughs> Can you believe I it? am your father, Luke. <laughs> <laughs> Who's your daddy? Happy Who's your daddy? Happy Happy see you tomorrow.